Accelerated construction is just all due to the Model 3 ramp. It's a real one team, Tesla B brand the Panasonic team. Th things, are, things are on track to be able to um, meet the Model 3 start of production timing in the middle of next year. And uh, really excited about uh, what's happening. The overarching goal of Tesla is to accelerate the advent of sustainable energy. Um, so we're going to take the set of actions that we think are most likely to achieve that goal. I mean, you said, like, as a consumer, what would you want? Obviously, do you really want, like, tons of new power lines coming in? Do you want to be overloading substations and have, like, big new substations built in, in neighborhoods? I think people don't want that. You know, we have the data, internal data to know that, um, you know, we, we improved uh, the people's safety, not just in um, fatalities, but also in injuries. Uh, so, cause, because we can see where autopilot actually reduced the impact velocity, um, and autopilot, um, something people that uh, know is, autopilot reduced the impact velocity from seven, 76 miles an hour to 46 miles an hour. But that, that's actually a massive difference because the impact energy scales with the square of velocity. So 46 miles an hour, you're talking about maybe a third of the impact velocity of a 76 mile an hour incident. That's the difference between being able to walk away from an accident uninjured and potentially being killed. Certainly people are quite keyed off of the whole autonomous vehicle thing. I think maybe people have this like image of like robot cars run amok. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's really not anything like that. Um, you know, it's, it's basically advanced driver's assistance at this point. Um, in fact, we use the name autopilot because that's, what, that's what's used in aircraft. Um, but the presumption in aircraft is that the pilot must, you know, pay attention to be alert and be ready to take over at any time. Not, not that the pilot can then go, go to sleep or, you know, walk away from the cockpit or that there's, there's still an expectation of attention. Um, and then also people got misunderstood the whole beta thing. We specifically called it beta because we were trying to reduce people's complacency in using it, not because it's beta in any normal sense of the word. And if you turn something on and it says beta or it doesn't say beta, you'll definitely be more cautious if it says beta than if it's not. But actually, all of that autopilot software goes through extreme levels of validation before, it ever rolls, before a customer ever sees it. Um, so there's all sorts of nonsense about people being used as human guinea pigs and all that. It's like, no, every single step we took, at least from our standpoint, was to reduce complacency in the use of autopilot um, and to improve safety.